The year was 1938. It was a dark and foggy night where the air was so still that you could hear a pin drop. But you could also hear the sound of the Southern Pacific Railroad trains running through the night. That night in San Antonio, Texas, a nun was driving a school bus filled with children coming home after a field trip. They were heading down Shane Road toward a railroad crossing. The children were happy about their trip and were eager to see their parents and tell them all about their day. But as of right now, they were asleep. Before the bus reached the railroad crossing, the engine started to sputter. All of a sudden, when the bus was halfway across the tracks, it stopped. Most of the students were sleeping, so the nun quietly attempted to start the engine back up with what little time she had. She knew that stopping on a railroad track was a bad place for the bus to stall. And she was right. Just a few minutes after the bus stalled, the nun heard something in the distance that made her face turn white. It was the sound of a train. With a burnt-out headlight, it offered no warning of its impending arrival. Frantically, the nun tried to move the bus as the train was getting closer and closer. It was too late to evacuate the children as the train was moving too fast. The nun desperately and frantically turned the key to the ignition, making one last attempt to restart the bus. The engineer finally saw the bus and slammed on the brakes, but it was all for nothing. The train careened into the bus. The nun was thrown through the windshield and landed on the gravel below. The freight train continued on for another mile before it finally came to a stop, with the front mangled and dented. The bus was broken into two halves, with rubble lying everywhere. Miraculously, the nun survived. The young children were not as fortunate. Not one survivor of the children were found. The next morning, cops and hospital workers came. The parents of the dead children were not allowed to see them as their bodies were nothing but a mangled corpse. A few weeks later, the nun, guilt-ridden and heartbroken, returned to the site of the accident. She was unable to continue on with the guilt of killing the children that she was taking care of and decided to end her life. She parked her car on the tracks and sat there waiting for the next train to come along. After several minutes, the train came down as the nun resigned herself to her fate. The beaming light of the train tore down the line, blowing its whistle at the crossing. As the train came closer, the nun began to hear familiar voices. The voices of the children. Then, her car began to move forward. The nun was stunned as her car was rolling across to safety just as the train roared by. In disbelief, the nun got out of her car and began looking around expecting to find a good Samaritan that saved her life from her gruesome end. She saw not a single soul. She looked back at her car and noticed children-sized handprints on the back of her trunk. It was then that she realized that the ghosts of her students had saved her life. The nun, blessed with a newfound purpose in life, opened a school for orphans in honor of the children who died that night. She taught at this school until the day she died. Years later, legend says that if you park your car on those very same railroad tracks, your car will be pushed to safety by the same children who rode in the bus with the nun that night.